Your objective for today is the same thing you did yesterday. It's a life lesson these seventh grade students at King Middle School will likely retain for all of their lives. Streamline gliding and correct arm pull for the freestyle stroke. My face goes in the water first. After only two weeks of instruction, these students are already comfortable in the water and they are fast learning the skills that may one day save their lives. The school district's only swimming pool reopened earlier this year after being out of commission for over a decade. A feature article in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution marked the occasion. It is being used now to provide swimming lessons for King Middle School students, but there are plans to expand the pool's reach well beyond this school's student body. The vision is to basically make it a true school community pool to allow members of our community to come in. Um, we wanted to use it as a hub for our community for students to come in, uh, the mommy and me classes. We have lots of young people in our community, um, toddlers to have programs so our parents can come into our school. This can be one feature to pull the parents in the community to into King Middle School. Ready, go. As we reside on a planet that consists mainly of deep oceans, it only makes sense that students learn to be as comfortable in the water as they are on dry land. That's a lesson these students already know. To water, and you might not be prepared. You might have to swim in your clothes and save somebody's life. You don't never know. I think it's important to learn how to swim because most of the earth is covered in water, and we might not know one day we might have to do swimming in order to get across somewhere. Or it's very important to have because I like swimming in water, so I gotta take this class so I can learn how to swim. Mm -hmm. Come out that one be me to be very safe when I'm swimming. Don't be afraid to take the air in as soon as you come up. And, and the lesson about the importance of learning to swim on a water planet is certainly not lost on the adults here, as several King Middle School staff members take advantage of the opportunity to learn this essential life skill after classes and during their lunch breaks. My motivation is it's always a good skill to have, which is to learn how to swim in, and it's also great exercise. So I feel it in my joints and I make it a little bit more flexible since I've been able to start swimming. Definitely important to know how to swim. Swimming is uh, an important life skill. Um, so as far as our brain cells and blood cells are 90% water, and it only makes sense that we can survive and exist in it. Mm -hmm. and, um, and if any accidents were to happen, or any, if we were to be, if the kids were to be around any type of water, they would need to know how to survive and, 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 and how to deal with those situations. Learning to swim starts with simple breathing lessons, in through the mouth, out through the nose. This is followed by gliding face down in the water across the width of the pool. Students next don swim fins that enhance the power of their kicks that propel them from one end of the pool to the other. And this is followed by the popular crawl stroke. When you put it all together properly, breathing, kicking, and the stroke, that's swimming. The fear comes from not being able to get oxygen. So the first thing that I always teach is rhythmic breathing or circular breathing. So once somebody knows how to breathe, then that usually dispels the fear once they are able to, to get air and get oxygen. The health and fitness, especially with our youth today, many students do not get enough exercise. And we know that swimming with a lifelong skill is just great exercise for the total body. It's also a life skill on learning how to swim because more minority students drown each year than any other group of students. The reward for those students who quickly learn the fundamentals of swimming is the right to jump off the diving board into 12 feet of water at the deep end of the pool. I think it's important because it keeps some people out of trouble. And uh, I don't, I mean, I, I, love, I love swimming. I've been swimming since I was like four. And I heard that it hasn't been used since like 1996. But I'm glad that they're using it now. The swimming instruction staff collaborate often on the program and lesson plans and provide one-on-one -on -one instruction for students who require more individualized attention. It's all aimed at effectively teaching a life skill that is important for everyone to learn.